Hey guys, so I totally found the facet yarn. Really excited in case you couldn't tell by my other videos. These had some beautiful colors in. They had said online that they had all the colors in. Um, however, there was some blank spots. I think they may just have not gotten them out yet because um, after I bought the ones that I bought, my store did immediately say that those were not available and it still said the other ones were available. So I think they just weren't fully stocked yet. But uh, this is the color Sweet Raspberry. It's like a dark rainbow. It's really pretty. Um, I really like that one. I really liked all of them, honestly. I thought they were really pretty. Um, this one reminds me of Mardi Gras colors. I really, really like it. Um, the feel of this is so nice. Like, it's not the softest yarn on the planet. And this is the color Summer Sunrise. Um... Not the softest yarn on the entire planet, but it's it's pretty soft. Um, it feels like Unforgettable um, or Landscapes. Um, this is the color that I keep calling the Witch's Brew, <laughs> also called Juniper. Um, this one is the one that I thought there might be a landscape also, or, or Unforgettable also called Sea Glass, but there is a landscape that is that color. And then this one in like blue ombres is really, really pretty. I really did like uh, the toffee, but I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. I didn't realize the green was as prominent. Um, although I do like the green, um, they're missing ember. And embers is the one that I think I would really like that is the brown tones. This one is the silver tones. You can see next to it the really dark one. We'll get back to that one in a minute. <laughs> um, here is the violet one, um, called violet, actually. It's very, very pretty. And then, this one is very pretty, too. Um, it's more of an unusual mix of colors, I think. It's got like a greenish gray in there and a yellow. It's really pretty. This one is just like Lion Brand's Apple Orchard. For those of you who have seen my blanket that is like the header of my Facebook group, this is the color in um, landscape yarn that I made that in. This one was really pretty too. This is the color Chalk, like a pastel rainbow. It's almost like a sherbet, like when you buy the sherbet in the rainbow. And then this is the color Autumn. I believe it's Autumn. Um, yep, yep, I was right. Uh, this is the one that I think Ice Yarns has their rainbow yarn in that color. And then this is Lollipop. Really pretty bright colors mixed in there. And this gorgeous, gorgeous yarn is called uh, Sunrise. Nope, flame. I call it sunrise. <laughs> and then an empty spot, which is where ember is supposed to be. I believe this is spectrum. Yep, spectrum. It's very pretty rainbow. It's all colors of the spectrum. And then this is a rainbow with more yellows in it called brilliant. It's very pretty also. And then, I don't know why I went for that one again. But that is Dark Ocean. It has a lot of pretty colors of the ocean. I can totally see that. And then this one, I think, also is a um, very pop, or very akin to the uh, Red Heart Unforgettable. This one's called Vivid. But I think it is a lot like, um, is it Heirloom or maybe Dragonfly? I'm not quite sure. And then this pretty dark shaded one is called Stormy. Really, really like the grays and the blacks. It's really nice. Really nice um, color. I think it would mix well with some other colors. I was totally in love with these. Um, I think if I counted right, there's like 20 colors of these, you guys. Um, they were missing like two of them, and the normal price is $5.99. Uh, if you couldn't tell, they're a roving style yarn. I 
I was very happy to find them, though. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that you guys saw enough of the colors. And then I moved on to look at this. This is in the area where they had just gotten rid of the skinny cakes. It's in the Karen cake area where I presume they're going to be a permanent color or a permanent like fixture. But they had cloud cakes. Um, this is actually, I'm making a blanket out of this and the kelp color above it. But this one, um, I hadn't seen, like I saw this on the website for all of like a minute <laughs> when they were out before. And I thought this was a new um, color. It turns out, uh, I believe it, it actually wasn't. But I, it was also another one that I saw for like all of a minute last year or whenever they had came out. But yeah, I think that these are, are like a permanent thing because they're here next to the latte cakes. And then look at up here, the white latte cakes are back, you guys. Didn't they get rid of those like two years ago? <laughs> so they're back up there in what looks like a permanent spot. Um, and these um, marble cakes, which I thought were long gone, long clearanced out. I even have two of these colorways right here. <laughs> Um, that have just been sitting around because um, I wasn't quite sure what to do with them, especially if I wasn't going to have quite enough yardage, but uh, that doesn't look like it's going to be a problem anymore. So yeah, exciting things. The skinny cakes are gone, but these, these are back. Um, they don't have all of the colors of the cloud cakes. Um, I'm sure they don't for some of the other ones either. Um, they have the, like the Karen cotton cakes, but they also have the ripple cakes, which I think were gone. And then they have these baby cakes, which I'm, I'm certain they had clearanced out and were gone. Like this is the color retro that I was looking for, um, that they didn't have for very long at my stores, but the, the baby cakes are back. The cloud cakes are back. The white latte cakes are back. The marble cakes are back. Um, the ripple cotton cakes are back. I had to keep going back to the um, kelp. Uh, that's the kelp, I'm sorry. But I had to keep going back to the cloud cakes. Um, cause you know I like to pet them. <laughs> but I was, I was very happy to see them. Um, I hadn't even seen the saltwater taffy in my store. But um, I will be back in just a moment and uh, show you. I'm sure you can already guess what I went home with. Uh, from the store today, but uh, I will confirm that and I will show you a little more like up close what I did come home with and I found a little bit of clearance so I will be back in one moment. Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. Uh, how are you doing? <laughs> um, so I told you I'd be right back <laughs> um, and I wanted to tell you what I got from the store today. Yeah, It's today, but it won't be when you see this. Um, so I have a big old Michael's bag here. Sorry for the crinkling. Um, I'm just going to take out like one of each color as we go here. Trying to be sneaky, I guess, but because I did get multiples of some, and I'm sure you already knew that too. I should have been a little more prepared, but I wasn't. Um, I don't know what most of this is, but I'm sure I have like a couple surprises, just a couple. <laughs> oh, is this everything? Everything that you were expecting anyway. So first and foremost, you know that I came home with a lot of the different, I bet some of you thought I came home with all of the facet yarn, but I didn't. <laughs> um, so I did get, I, I got quite a bit um, because I had a 20% off um, all regular priced yarn um, or all regular price purchase and um, none of it was on sale. So $5.99 is the regular price for it and it wasn't on sale. And um, yeah, so 20% off. And then I had a gift card to cover some of it. And I had some vouchers 
like reward the reward things to cover some of it and um yeah so I didn't spend like a crazy amount but I bought a crazy amount you know um that's the only reason that I got the amount that I did but so I got the flame yarn look at that gorgeous orangey there's so many different shades of orange going on in here it's so pretty love it I did get all three of those because honestly I would like to get some more of those I thought this would make a beautiful blanket and like I think I'd like to mix it with one of two yarns that I actually got um, I did get all three of the storm I called it stormy in the voiceover but it's storm see all those beautiful shades of gray and black going on there so I thought those might look really nice together those look really nice together actually now that I have them set up there or maybe even mix the all three of these and then I might not even have to get any other yarn um I did get oh no yarn avalanche I did get all three of these also which are the juniper which I keep calling the witch's brew because of that purple and this really bright green going on in here I think it's just gorgeous but look at the three together <laughs> wouldn't that make like a really nice blanket or even like a um like a hat and cowl set or hat and scarf set I love the way those look so I came home with all three that they had in stock because they only stocked um, three of each one today. And then I think I mentioned it, but the, the missing ones, the website did say that they were there, but they weren't on the shelf. And at first I thought somebody might have um, bought them. But when I bought mine, the website immediately said that they were not, that they didn't have any left in stock. And those still said they were in stock, so I'm wondering if they just didn't get around to putting them on the shelves yet. Um, which is sad, because I would I would have went home with the ember, too, I'm pretty sure. Um, I also bought the three of the silver colors, which is just called silver. <laughs> Had to make sure. That's just the lighter shades of the dark uh, storm one. Very, very pretty. Uh, and I'm trying to pick through, let's see, I showed you the Witch's Brew one. <laughs> um, trying to pick through the ones I did get three of. I got all three of the autumn ones. Let's look at those beautiful, harvesty looking colors. Aren't they pretty? And then I got all three of the violet shaded one. And... The last one I got all three of was the Spectrum. Because I thought those were irresistibly pretty. I could not help myself. Um, and then I got one each of the Toffee. The... Summer Sunrise, which I keep wanting to call Mardi Gras. And the Sweet Raspberry. Because I thought the three of these, not to go together, but I thought the three of these would make really pretty dragon egg bags when I start making more and getting orders for more. I think some of the other ones I got would also, but I got one of each for, for those purposes. So, um, yeah, those were the colors that I came home with. And then... I spotted the clearance stuff and um, I had two of these already so there was two at the store um, these are the craft smart value stripe and they are in the color cinnamon and these were two dollars so I bought two of these the only two they had <laughs> there we go so now I have four, and I just think they're this really beautiful, again, like, autumn color. It's so pretty. And then, I think I only got one other clearance item, which they had one unforgettable left, and it was in the color polo. Polo, right? 
Yeah. And that, that was three dollars. Um, and I hadn't even seen this. This was the Michaels that I got the unforgettable and landscape clearance at. And I didn't even see them have any of this there. But they had this one hanging out, so I got it because I have a couple of these and I have always wished to have more. And um, I've never seen any more at the stores for like a really long time. So I grabbed it. <laughs> I think they're so pretty and like harvesty looking. And um, But that's what I came home with. So there's a couple colors that like I said, I'd like to get a few more of, but these this will definitely do me for now. Uh, Hopefully these stick around because I do really like them. Um, I will probably do a comparison in the future for how they compare to, because I think they're very comparable to Red Heart Unforgettable. So for those of you that are fans of Red Heart Unforgettable, uh, I'll probably do like a comparison video for the two. And yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed looking at the new yarn from Michaels. And how exciting is that, that the um, cloud cakes and... There's also the big, the thicker yarn, like the, the tea cakes or whatever. I don't think they had those, did they? And those are back there now. Um, so there's the tea cakes. There's the cotton ripple. There's the cloud cakes. There's the baby, baby cakes. Um, there's the white latte cakes. Um, there's the marble cakes. So there's, yeah, there's a lot of the old, like flashback to the old cakes coming back. So hopefully they're going to be around for a while because that would be pretty cool. So yay. <laughs> but all right. Um, I think this video has gone on long enough. So I will talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.